Hi guys and welcome to Star Sonata Profit School. Today I'd like to talk to you about some of the main problems with hoarding. Now I understand storing specific special items like one time only items, say for example the Santa's mystical porpoise, um, items that you'd never be able to get again. Items like that which stored over time their value does increase. However there are a lot of players in the game who um, engage in this thing called hoarding and that can generally be a bad practice. Basically what hoarding is is where you store items items for an indefinite period of time and you generally store them in a thatch, you don't sell them, you don't get rid of them. And this can lead to some problems which come in the future, as in you have no money. Now sometimes it can be really really good to sell items even if you're not getting a great bargain for it. Like for example if you've got loads of augmenters coming in, it's good to sell them as soon as you get them. Find a player that's buying them for a decent price at the shop, get rid of those puppies, you know, because you want the money. The thing is, if you sell, say, five different items which you pick up uh, in a DG run, all right, you might be selling them for, say, 80% of what the item is fully worth. But when you've sold this one which you don't need, this one which you don't need, this one which you don't need, this one which was okay, and this one which you don't need, that's a lot of money that you've got in and you can spend that money on items which you need. Like, for example, expensive ships, you can get better drones, better equipment, better, um, you know, better bots to come with you. And that will speed up your um, leveling process, it will speed up your gaming process and your resource gathering process. The fact of the matter is, storing items indefinitely for an indefinite period of time, it just has a negative effect on you over a long period of time and you begin to think to yourself oh my god i've got no money i've got no i've got nothing get a shop sell your items keep selling them or sell them to other people's shops people generally offer decent prices for items and you can make a lot of money from doing this and the fact of the matter is if you've got money coming in and you've got money going out you know that's great the thing is if you haven't got the money coming in and you've got money going out, you end up completely poor, you end up completely broke. And sometimes it's better to take a little bit of a cut on the items and get rid of them quickly so that you can buy something else. Because here's the kicker, over time, the value of items deteriorates. Let's take a look at love cylinders. Love cylinders two unis ago, right? They were like 500 mil to one bill. Now, 200 mil, you know? Um, the thing is, the value of your items is is deteriorating. So let's say you went and you got three love cylinders in that uni. You could have sold them for 1.5 bill. Now you can only sell them for 600 mil, you know, at maximum. And you're not even going to sell them now because you kept them in that you kept them in storage. So you are literally burning your own bridges when it comes to actually making an income for yourself. The most important thing for any player is to just be able to constantly make money and have it constantly coming in. And it feels like you're progressing. It feels like you're going forwards. If you store everything, you just feel like you're staying in the same place and you're never going to get anywhere. And part of the thing is there's a big psychology behind motivation when it comes to your characters. So, um, you know, if you don't feel like you're progressing, you don't feel like you're going forward, you won't do as many DGs. Let's say you started off doing five DGs a day, making a load of money. All right, if you don't sell anything, you're not making any money. You just think, oh, well, I'm not earning anything from the DGs, you know. I've got a couple of items, they're completely worthless, what's the point? But the fact of the matter is, you could be, and you should be making as much money as possible and just keep it going in, keep it going out, keep it coming in, keep it going out. Because the fact of the matter is, whenever you've got your stuff and you're selling, you are eventually going to be able to get better stuff and you're going to be able to progress. Otherwise, you're going to stay in the same place constantly forever. And the fact of the matter is, everything that you've stored is just going to deteriorate in value apart from those special items that you may be able to sell in the future. But the fact of the matter is, that's not going to happen with most of your basic items. That's going to happen with special things like NCC bulks are valuable. You know, they're worth storing. You know, I'm not saying sell everything, but you should be putting a big focus on your sales and you should be trying to get them out there as soon as possible. As soon as the items come in, you want to get rid of them. If the items are coming in, you want to get rid of them. It's pointless having five singularity spheres, you know, full of stuff. I mean, five singularity spheres full of completely useless paraphernalia. That's just a waste of credits. It's a waste of ship slots, you know. You are burning your chances and opportunity to make more money. So what you've got to do is get rid of stuff as quickly as possible when it's stuff that will deteriorate over time. That goes for commodities, that goes for just about anything in the game, except for the really, really hard to get things. Some of those, if you want to hold on to them or use them yourself, that can be good, but 
generally, uh, you, you see, even the prices of the big ships, they go down in value, so eventually you're going to be able to afford things anyway, so there's no real point, literally, in saving stuff if it's something that you're going to be able to get a lot. There's no point. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you. I'm sorry it became a bit of a psychotic rant, but the fact of the matter is, it's like, there are so many players, and I used to be one of them. I'm on Retchu, I literally sold five unis worth of stuff, um, and I was massively rich, you know. I was like, whoa, you know, I've got so much money now, what do I do with it? And so I wasted it all. But the fact of the matter is, you know, it's like the money comes in, the money goes out, it's great. And the fact of the matter is, it's like, as soon as I realised that I was able to make a profit in this way, um, because I was I was like, right, I'm going to go out and DG. You know, come back, 20 DGs later, i got Dementium, I've got this, I've got that, I've got this, and I'm selling it. I'm getting richer. Coming back in, selling, 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 selling constantly. It's brilliant. And you think you can't make money in certain other DGs? I'll go into that in another district. But even in Earth Force, you can make a huge amount of money on things like Dem Frags because they drop a lot. And you can make a lot of thing money on other things. So don't think Warp 1, Warp 2, Warp 3 DGs are bad. You know, focus yourself and just get yourself making money. That is the most important thing. Because if you've got money, you can spend, you can buy, you can get whatever you want, you know? You can have whatever you want in the game. You just have to work a little bit for it. And you know what? There are people and they will profit off you if you sell to their shops, but it doesn't matter. Because let's say you sell, um, let's say you say five things for 80% of what their, you know, their total value is. You are still able, you still have, you know, um, you still have like 80% uh, of what you would have made from selling it and those items would have just sat in your storage so you've got a large proportion of you've got a large proportion of credits now and you can use those credits to buy anything and that's great you know it's like the second I got a Kalthi Armored Commander it was like yes boys because I had sold all of her stuff and if I hadn't done that I wouldn't have that you know I wouldn't have the um, I wouldn't have the Ikbana Capital Ship I wouldn't have all of the other stuff I wouldn't have maxed out all of my um, bar skills you know you can make a lot of money doing this all you got to do is just have that mindset get rid of it as soon as it comes in. Anyway, catch you later, have a fantastic day, and I hope this has been helpful. Bye-bye!